This short tutorial video surveys different ways to collect data into the Treasure Data Service and explains how and when each method should be used. The first method is via Treasure Agent. Treasure Agent is a lightweight log collector that supports many data sources and filtering mechanisms. This method should be used to collect log data on the server side in a streaming manner. It also supports TCP, UDP, and HTTP protocols out of the box, so it can be used to collect data from various sensor devices. For example, let's say you use Apache Web Server or Nginx to run your website and want to collect and analyze their access and error logs. Just set up Treasure Agent on each web server, and Treasure Agent reliably uploads your log data to the Treasure Data Service. Now let's say you also want to collect syslog and application event data to correlate them against web server logs. Just by adding a few lines to Treasure Agent's config file, you can start collecting new log sources onto the Treasure Data Service in a few minutes. The second method is client SDKs. Treasure Data has client SDKs for iOS, Android, and JavaScript so that you can collect data directly from both native and web apps. This method should be used to collect device diagnostics data, as well as user actions on the client side, such as page views, clicks, tabs, and swipes. The SDKs are highly customizable and enable you to collect and analyze raw user actions. Also, this method requires no knowledge or control of the server-side code. For example, suppose you're a mobile app developer and you wish to analyze your users' behaviors. Then, the iOS and Android SDKs come in handy because you can collect data quickly without setting up a backend server. In another example, let's say you have a mobile MMO game where the majority of the gameplay occurs on the server side. For this use case, we recommend using the Treasure Agent since the majority of the events will be generated on the server side. You can always combine both the client-side SDKs and Treasure Agent if your app generates events on both sides. The third method is the bulk import tool. The bulk import tool is a robust data uploader optimized for uploading large datasets reliably. This method should be used to upload large datasets onto the Treasure Data Service such as third-party log data from FTP servers, database snapshots, and historical log data. For example, suppose that you use a SaaS product that lets you dump your data via an export API. Our bulk import tool can be used in conjunction with such an export API to create daily snapshots on the Treasure Data Service. Our similar technique can be used with your own relational data sources. Our bulk import tool supports MySQL as a data source to let you create daily database snapshots. The fourth method is drag and drop file import. This method should be used if you want to test out the Treasure Data Service against your own data. By simply dragging and dropping a CSV or TSV file into the browser, you can start analyzing your own data in a matter of a few seconds. The drag-and-drop interface is ideal for getting started with a Treasure Data Service because it involves no coding or downloading software. Please remember that this interface is designed for testing and prototyping, not for importing gigabytes of CSV files reliably. For that use case, please use the bulk import tool as mentioned previously. To conclude this video, I will import historical stock prices of Facebook using the drag and drop interface. As you can see, the data has been uploaded successfully via the drag and drop interface. To learn more about each data collection method, please visit the following web pages.